The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Duke Energy is pulling a 180. In a statement released late Wednesday afternoon, the utility said they'll credit all customers affected by extra billing days. More than 260,000 people were impacted. We understand we've also caused some, some issues with some of our customers moving into a higher tiered bill rate, and we want to make that right. The state's second largest utility added up to 12 days to some customers' billing cycles. That caused charges to skyrocket in some cases. Ratepayers got slapped with higher charges after they reached a certain point. The extra days that were billed moved some customers over the edge. It's hot. People are using more energy. They're running their air conditioners a little more. So we're, we're, we're seeing customers with higher bills anyway that we've also added um, extra days onto their, their billing cycle. Duke Energy is taking all the flack for the meter move, but other utilities could use the trick as well. It's available to other utilities based on the same tariff provisions and, and the same rule applies to all utilities in the commission's jurisdiction. Consumer advocate Brad Ashwell says the credit was the only way to make things right. We're glad to see that Duke is, is recompensating these customers. Um, they were wrongly billed. I mean, you know, it's good news, but really should it be news at all. Duke's president will still go before the PSC next week to address their concerns about the billing problems. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.